The Enchanted Encounter Part 1 The Serendipitous Meeting Isabella was the epitome of beauty. Her long, flowing hair cascaded down her back like a waterfall of silk, and her eyes sparkled with the brilliance of a thousand stars. Every step she took was filled with grace, and every smile she offered was a glimpse of heaven. She was adored by many but remained humble and kind-hearted, always willing to lend a helping hand. One sunny afternoon, Isabella decided to visit the town's old bookshop, a quaint place filled with the scent of aged paper and boundless stories. She loved getting lost in the pages of history, fantasy, and romance. As she wandered through the aisles, her fingers brushed against the spines of countless books until she found herself in the poetry section. There, hidden among the dusty volumes, was a book with a worn, leather cover. It seemed to call out to her, and as she pulled it from the shelf, a small note fluttered to the ground. Isabella picked it up, curiosity peaked. The note read, In this book, you'll find the words that lead you to a heart as pure as yours. E. Intrigued, she opened the book to discover a collection of love poems. The words were beautiful, tender, and filled with passion. She felt a connection to the mysterious poet, as if he had written these verses just for her. While Isabella was lost in the enchanting verses, a young man named Ethan entered the bookshop. Ethan was a writer, known for his deep, soulful poetry that resonated with many. He had come to the shop in search of inspiration, feeling a bit lost and uncertain about his latest work. As he browsed the shelves, he noticed Isabella, her beauty captivating him instantly. He watched as she read the very book he had anonymously donated to the shop months ago. Recognizing his handwriting on the note, Ethan felt his heart skip a beat. Mustering up the courage, he approached her. Excuse me he said softly. I couldn't help but notice you're reading that book. It's one of my favorites. Isabella looked up, her eyes meeting his. There was a spark, a moment of unspoken understanding. It's beautiful, she replied. The words are so heartfelt. Ethan smiled, his eyes twinkling. I'm glad you think so. Poetry has a way of connecting souls, don't you think? She nodded, feeling an inexplicable bond with this stranger. Yes, it does. I'm Isabella. Ethan, he introduced himself, his heart racing. Would you like to join me for a cup of coffee? I'd love to discuss the poems with you. Isabella hesitated for a moment, then smiled warmly. I'd like that. As they left the bookshop together, the sun setting behind them, it felt as though fate had woven their paths together in the most magical way. They talked about poetry, life, and dreams, their connection growing stronger with each passing moment. Little did they know, this serendipitous meeting was just the beginning of a beautiful love story one that would be filled with passion, understanding, and a deep, unbreakable bond. Part 2. The Blossoming Connection Isabella and Ethan's coffee date turned into hours of conversation, laughter, and shared stories. They discovered they had much in common, a love for literature, a passion for music, and a yearning for a deeper connection in a world often too busy to notice. The evening stretched into the night, and by the time they parted ways, both felt an undeniable bond forming between them. Days turned into weeks, and their meetings became a cherished routine. They explored the town's hidden gems, from art galleries to quaint cafes, always finding something new to share and discover. Their conversations grew deeper, revealing their dreams, fears, 
and hopes for the future. One afternoon, Ethan invited Isabella to a small poetry reading at a local park. The sun was shining, and a gentle breeze rustled the leaves of the trees, creating the perfect backdrop for the event. In her, I am reborn. Isabella's eyes glistened with tears as she listened to the heartfelt words. She felt her heart swell with emotion, knowing that Ethan had written these lines with her in mind. When he finished, she reached out and gently squeezed his hand, her voice trembling with sincerity. That was beautiful, Ethan. Thank you. Ethan smiled, relieved and elated by her reaction. Isabella, meeting you has been the most incredible journey. You inspire me every day, and I feel so lucky to have found you. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the park, Ethan and Isabella shared a moment of quiet reflection. The world around them seemed to fade away, leaving just the two of them, wrapped in a cocoon of warmth and love. Their connection continued to grow, and with each passing day, they found themselves falling deeper in love. They spent their evenings reading poetry to each other, taking long walks under the stars, and sharing their dreams for the future. Their love was a beautiful, evolving story, written with every shared moment and tender word. One evening, as they sat on a bench overlooking the town's scenic river, Ethan turned to Isabella with a serious expression. Isabella, there's something I need to tell you, he said, his voice steady but filled with emotion. I've been offered a chance to travel abroad for a writing fellowship. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but it would mean being away from you for several months. Isabella's heart sank, torn between her love for Ethan and her desire to see him achieve his dreams. She took a deep breath, trying to hold back her tears. Ethan, you have to go. This is your dream, and I would never want to hold you back. We'll find a way to make it work. Ethan was touched by her selflessness. I love you, Isabella. And I promise, no matter where I go, you'll always be in my heart. As they embraced under the starlit sky, they knew their love would be tested by distance, but they also knew it was strong enough to withstand any challenge. Their journey was far from over, and they were ready to face whatever came their way, hand in hand. Part 3. The Test of Time Ethan's departure for the writing fellowship was bittersweet. Isabella and Ethan spent their last day together cherishing each moment, promising each other that their love would endure the separation. As Ethan boarded the plane, Isabella watched, her heart filled with both sadness and hope. In the following months, their love was put to the test. Distance made their hearts grow fonder, and they found solace in their nightly video calls and the letters they wrote to each other. Ethan shared his experiences abroad, the new places he visited, and the inspiration he found in his writing. Isabella, in turn, kept him updated with her life back home, sharing her thoughts and dreams, always encouraging him to pursue his passion. One evening, Isabella received a letter from Ethan that was different from the others. It was filled with anticipation and excitement, and at the end of the letter, Ethan wrote, I have a surprise for you. Meet me at the old bookshop next Saturday at noon. Her heart raced with joy and curiosity. She counted down the days, eagerly awaiting their reunion. When Saturday finally arrived, Isabella dressed in her favorite outfit and made her way to the bookshop, the place where their story had begun. As she entered the shop, her eyes searched for Ethan, and there he was, standing in the poetry section, a bouquet of her favorite flowers in hand. The moment their eyes met, it felt as if time stood still. 
Tears of happiness filled Isabella's eyes as she rushed into his arms. Ethan held her tightly, whispering, I missed you so much, Isabella. I'm back, and I'm never leaving you again. Isabella looked up at him, her heart overflowing with love. I missed you too, Ethan. Welcome home. Ethan smiled and led her to a cozy corner of the shop where a small table was set up with a book of poetry. He handed her a handwritten note, similar to the one she had found months ago. It read, In this book, you'll find the words that lead you to a heart as pure as yours. E. Isabella looked up at Ethan, her eyes shining with tears. Is this... Ethan nodded, taking her hands in his. Yes, Isabella. This is our story. I wrote it all down, every moment, every feeling. Our love has inspired me more than I could ever imagine. When he finished, Ethan got down on one knee and pulled out a small, velvet box. Isabella, will you marry me? Tears streaming down her face. Isabella nodded, her voice barely above a whisper. Yes, Ethan. A thousand times, yes. Their love story had come full circle, from a serendipitous meeting in a bookshop to a proposal surrounded by the words that had brought them together. As they embraced, their hearts beating in unison, they knew that their love would continue to grow, inspire, and withstand any challenge that came their way.